Hi, I'm Mike Bielek, Bielek Racing. Today we're out here in the beautiful Lucerne Valley in California. Currently they're having a Lucerne 400 race sponsored by McKinsey's Auto Products. And as you can see, there's cars racing across the desert. But today we're actually testing our Roush Supercharged Ford Raptor. Basically, the Supercharged Raptor is very similar in suspension as the regular Raptor. You got your Fox shocks in the back with the uh, reservoir, your tires. But what makes this uh, Raptor unique is the 590 horsepower Roush supercharged engine with 590 pounds of torque as well. The normal Raptor is around just slightly over 400, so making quite a bit of difference out here in the desert. Going across the dry lake beds, we were doing 110 earlier, and now going up some of these hills, although they're pretty rough, it takes a hill with no problem and plenty of horsepower to spare. Let's go look under the hood. As stated earlier, we have the Roush supercharger bringing it up to the 590 horsepower, and you can see it has a uh, a little bit of a trick exhaust as well. We can go back to the back, but they're also uh, making a uh, stainless steel dual exhaust system in the back as well on, for the Roush supercharger to ventilate out. They're also upgrading with the k and Roush air filter system as well in the far right, which is part of the supercharger package. All right, after looking at the supercharger, some of the things we did for this, because we're racing in the desert, we're going at high speeds, we put four KC pod lights. They're each 70 watt HID lights. These are the most powerful lights in the industry and they project at least a half mile out. So again, traveling at high speeds, we want the four KC pod lights as well as underneath you can see we've added a lot of LED lighting which is for a lot closer in. That's more for doing high speed in the next uh, 100 yards what's in front of you. All right, here we are inside the uh, cab. Very friendly for the driver. Uh, we have a lot of uh, displays, touchscreen display for, of course, your climate control, your telephone, your radio and satellite, and also the navigation system in the center console. Then in front of the driver, there's a smaller 5-inch screen, and it shows all the status of all your off-road features. We also have uh, onboard cameras in the rear and the front on, this, uh, on the supercharged Raptors, and that allows you to view obstacles that you can't see from the driver's seat as you're going five miles or less up steep grades with very rugged terrain. So let's go ahead and hit on the gravel road here and see what this baby does. This trail can probably be hit at 80 miles an hour, of course a little beyond the speed limit, but uh, this truck handles great on the high speed gravel roads. Quite a few things I like inside the cab here is you have the thumb control switch on the stick shift. So when you want to downshift or upshift, it's just a push of a button, up, plus, minus, down, up, and gears when you're in the manual mode versus the auto mode. And let's go ahead and give that supercharger a little push here. And uh, we're doing 25, 35, 40, 50, and slowing down into the first turn down the next straightaway. So again, I really like this truck. It handles like a lot of the off-road uh, race vehicles. The suspension's incredible. The horsepower is magnificent at 590 horsepower. And it's a lot of fun in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive on these type gravel roads. A little bit different handling when you have all four traction going into the turns versus just the two in the back for more of a rear slide turn. Well, there you have it. We were out there in the Lucerne Valley roughing up the road. We're out here in Silverado Canyon doing the high speed turns down below, doing the little four wheel drive trails. When you have 590 horsepower going to all four wheels at the same time, it's a lot of fun out here. Hope you enjoy the show and like us on You on Trucks.